Today, I speak on Nigeria's youth and the fight for actualization. Young people are the key and flow to a sustainable positive change in any society. They are the leaders of movements, the beacons of inspiration, and the embodiment of power and change. This was seen clearly in the just concluded NSAS um, protests that took place across the country. Leaderless but led, the movement shook the nation, and for that, we are definitely not the same. A few days after the end of the protest itself, I got a lot of messages from young people across the country who kept on asking me, what's next? What do we do? How do we make this country better? In Jumoke's words, how can we make this country work for us? I couldn't answer at the time, but I do hope that I, I do think that I have a better answer now. The answer is mobilize and engage the political structures in 2023 and beyond. What do I mean, you may ask? It means getting your permanent voters card, joining a formidable political party, educate those um, at the grassroots about political education and execute community development projects. I feel the vibrancy and energy of young people when they speak about issues that bother our country. So much conviction and really the intention to do the right thing. But this is where we must start. The current political system needs us to redefine it and create an environment where those who are truly deserving of the mantle of leadership will be given a chance to lead. Former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Winston Churchill, at the age of 24, the very young age of 24, said, hear thus young men and women everywhere, and proclaim it far and wide. The earth is yours and the fullness thereof. Be kind, but be fierce. You are needed now more than ever before. Take up the mantle of change, for this is your time. I believe young people have the opportunity to be the heroes of, of which we sing about in our national anthem. Our present and our future is in our hands and we must make sure we safeguard it. Young people, it's time for hashtag Operation Mobilize. Mobilize. Mobilize to register, mobilize to vote, mobilize to hold them accountable. Is the holding them accountable part I have an issue with? <laughs> That's the one they don't like to hear. So they, but they, they make it almost you can impossible. Lead and govern without being accountable to mm. the people that you lead. Mm. So that's where we have these, what Yoruba people call momisi, omioto, add water, water is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why uh, Minister Lai is, you know, uh, asking us to not talk again on social media. Otherwise, yes. they will uh, regulate the social media. But you see, there must be accountability. True. And you must listen to the people you, you're leading. Because without followers, you're not a leader. Mm -hmm. And if your followers are saying, this is what is going on, this is what we don't like, this is what we need you to change, this is what we need you to critically look at, you must listen to them. Okay, so the IG of police has gone to court or is intending to um, to stop the panels of inquiry, judicial panels of inquiry across 36 states of the country set up by the government mm. to look into police brutality. Now, we said NSARS. They said, let's even inquire and find out what really happened. And then when we have enough information, we can then go to court. But the IG is trying to stop that process. So, and, I mean, if you've followed enough of those panels, you see the amount of harassment. Very high level of harassment oh and brutality. Goodness. But I'm going to be talking about the IGP, okay. my, my okay. advocacy today. So I'm just going to <laughs> hold, rein in hold my thoughts. thoughts. Yes. I, 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 I think Jumoke has... Um, spoke on my mind. It was as if uh, we, we had an engagement when she was writing a script about how we need to take the answers further. It doesn't end oh, on the road. Oh, you mean Nafisa? Yeah. I mean Nafisa, rather. Mm. It doesn't end on the road. We have to get participatory. 
register if you're not registered. Speak to people when it is time to speak to people. Go out there and vote. We're talking about them not being accountable. What did we give them to account to us for? If there is no target, how do I know if I'm performing on target or not? Yeah, but there was a manifesto by the party. Oh. This is what you agreed. You, this is what you told us you were coming to Good. do. Good. So now let us evaluate your work, your, so, your own words. To can us. we start from security? It, let us start it, from interestingly, security. Interestingly, that is also part of what I'll be speaking about in my own advocacy. Okay. You see, some of these things we allow mm. politicians to give us things that could not even be measured. Nafisa, when, you were when, going when to say something. When someone says, um, yes, I wanted te to quickly technically chip in defeated. Something. One minute, let Bola uh, finish this. Uh, you know, uh, uh, book no one is technically defeated. What does it mean in measurable terms? <laughs> does it mean okay, they don't now occupy any space of the land? Does it mean that the number of incidents have now gone down from hundred to fifty that we can measure? Does it mean that the number of casualties? has gone down by this much or that much. So if there are no specificity, there are, there's no, we, we did not specify exactly how they will be measured, and we don't, that means we can't determine success. Exactly, no so evaluation, there, no measurement, no accountability. Let us hear from uh, Nafisat. Oh yes, thank you. So I just wanted to emphasize on something which I know a lot of, a lot of people in my generation don't necessarily understand, or how do I put it? take at face value is the essence of joining a political party. Whether we like it or not, those um, organizations, these political parties are the, the sifting, yeah, like the sieve baskets from which eventual you know, um, politi um, political leaders, people that show up on the ballot are selected. If we do not enter into these systems, become valued and make ourselves relevant so that we can then have a say. Right, Nafisa, we hear you loudly. That's another issue with the Nigerian um, system that isn't working for us. <laughs> right, you're right. Well, I'm up next after the break. <laughs>